Well, first he fought for his country and then for fellow veterans. Tonight, the military community is mourning the death of a sailor whose Agent Orange lawsuit changed tens of thousands of lives. Tonight, as this Memorial Day weekend begins, the attorney responsible for the landmark court decision sat down with our Devin Bartolotta. The saying is, you know, uh, we came home and we brought death with us. And Agent Orange takes off an average of about 11 years off your life. Attorney and retired Navy Commander John Wells is a veteran who still wages war in the courtroom. From his office in Slidell, he told us about the life of his client, Alfred Procopio Jr., a Navy veteran who died at 75 years old Friday morning and whose lawsuit changed the lives of thousands of Agent Orange victims. Agent Orange killed him. No doubt in my military mind, that's what killed him. This is Procopio from the 1966 Intrepid Cruise book. It was on that ship that Procopio was exposed to Agent Orange. The U.S. military used the powerful herbicide in Vietnam to destroy crops and control dense jungle vegetation. Millions of U.S. soldiers and Vietnamese people were directly exposed to Agent Orange on the ground. And U.S. sailors on ships like the Intrepid offshore were using distilled Mekong River water unknowingly contaminated with a concentrated dose of the toxin. So he was getting a straight shot of Agent Orange into his drinking water, and everybody else was too. Um, of course, Agent Orange is a delaying disease. You know, it was not until um, probably 30 years later that he started having symptoms. Procopio, though, was denied Agent Orange benefits because he was offshore. Commander Wells and Slidell's military veterans advocacy organization took on the case, battled in court for nearly a decade, and won, expanding and, uh, VA benefits to about 90,000 Blue Water Navy say, Vietnam veterans. This. Al was just a tiger. You know, he just he just wanted. To, he said, "Look." We win or we'll lose, I don't care, but we're going to fight it and, you know, get the benefits for myself, my family, and hopefully for all the other Navy veterans. Alfred Procopio's service and his lawsuit became his legacy. Al was a husband, a father, a grandfather, good tax-paying citizen, good union electrician, and he had uh, spent his life doing good things for people. In Slidell, Devin Bartolotta, Eyewitness News. Procopio's wife lives in southern Minnesota. Funeral plans have not been announced just yet.